Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. We've been selling auto parts for over 30 years. We're dedicated to delivering quality auto parts, expert customer service, fast and free shipping, all backed by our 100% satisfaction guarantee. So visit us at 1AAuto.com, your trusted source for quality auto parts. In this video, we're going to be working with our 2006 Chrysler 300. We're going to show you how to remove and replace your vehicle's airbag cover as well as the horn switch which is integrated into that cover and can be replaced separately from your airbag. If you like this video, please click subscribe. We have a ton more information on this and many other vehicles. And if you ever need parts for your car, you can follow the link down in the description over to 1AAuto.com. Here are the items you'll need for this repair. Lift up the cargo cover or the rear carpet here. You'll find our battery underneath. Using a 10 millimeter socket and ratchet, we'll disconnect the ground for our battery first. Lift up and hang it out of the way where it won't get damaged. Be sure that your steering wheel is telescoped all the way out and facing forward before working on any part of the column. Using a 10 millimeter socket and ratchet, Remove the 10 millimeter screws located on the back of the steering wheel, one on either side. These are usually captured screws, which means once they're backed out all the way, they don't actually come out of the steering wheel. These, however, do. You may have to move it just a little bit to get the screw on this side. That's all right, just make sure it's centered when you remove it. Carefully pull the airbag and steering wheel cover toward you. Be sure to disconnect all your connections from the back of the airbag, not the steering wheel side. Yellow marked connectors mean that they are part of the airbag system, so be extra careful with those and make sure you touch some metal surfaces a few times before working on them as a static shock could set this bag off. have our horn connection at the top. Remove this retainer from the threads. And just so you can see what I did, this tab right here is what secures the horn connector. So I just put my thumbnail under there. And just lifted that up a little to slide it off. Now make sure you place this bag face down under something solid like a workbench or at least far away from you while you're working in somewhere dry. And again, just so you can see what I was doing when removing the airbag connections, there's these two little tabs, one on each side at the three and nine o'clock positions. You just kind of pinch those together and pull back. Don't worry about remembering where these go because they are color coded. To remove the airbag cover, Push all the way in until you see these tabs slide out of the openings, at which point you'll lift up on the skirts here. And slide them over the tabs. You may need a small flat blade just to help pop them over. Once those are done, work your way around. There are two on each side and three at the top. It'll all come off the exact same way. Once you've got three sides of tabs out, you should just be able to slide it down and out of the way. Now you can lift the wiring out of this little retainer hook here. Push down on the tabs for the retainer clip here. Slide them through the opening. Unsnap the retainer and you can now replace your airbag cover and horn switch, which are all one piece here. 
slide your new airbag cover over your airbag until the hooks slide into place. Do this all the way around. Slide the connector back under its hook and lock it back into place. And you're ready to reinstall your airbag and cover with horn switch into the wheel. Touch some metal components of the vehicle to make sure that there's no static charge on your body. And reconnect your airbag connectors. Snap that retainer back over the stud. And reconnect the horn. Lay your airbag back into the wheel and reinstall the two 10 millimeter bolts with your 10 millimeter socket and ratchet. Turn your key to the on position and reconnect your battery. What this does is ensures that there's power going to the airbag when you connect the battery back here where you're safe, as opposed to connecting your battery going into the vehicle and sitting in front of the SRS system you just worked on, engaging the key and risking being hit by a malfunctioning airbag or clock spring component. Thanks for watching. Visit us at oneauto.com for quality auto parts, fast and free shipping, and the best customer service in the industry.